Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokemon here with another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Wi-Fi battle. Pretty excited because tonight I'm watching Detective Pikachu and it's basically, you know, what I wanted, right, as a kid. It's, it's a world of Pokemon where Pokemon exist alongside us, so I'm excited about it. Uh, and that means that no matter what five I get, I'm using Pikachu. Um, don't expect this, this video, the Saturday one and the Sunday one, to be too long. Well, I mean, we'll see, depending on battles. But got to get everything done quickly because it's also Mother's Day weekend. And uh, tomorrow I'm hanging out with my mother. And then we're hanging out with Marlene's mother on Sunday. I mean, we all love each other. But uh, there's a lot of families. So we kind of, yeah, it's, it's a lot. Anyway, so if y'all want to uh, check out my previous wife about the playlist to see what we're using. Magnetel, Rhydon, Butterfree, Dugtrio, Jolteon, and, well, Pikachu. So... Wow, I got so many electric types and ground types that I never get, I ever. I'm using a low and duck trio. Alright, so uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the battle. Alright guys, so we have a game and Electrode, Mega Alakazam, Clefable, Starmie, Snorlax, and Nidoking. Alright, I uh, love Pikachu in this. I mean, it's alright. Got Zippy Zap and whatnot, so I can help me check Alakazam. Same thing with Dug Trio. Uh, Jolteon has a good speed tier here. Nido King is problematic. I'm gonna go the Butterfree route because it allows me to weaken basically Starmie and Nido King. Um, Nido King, I need to weaken just a bit, like because it knocks out. It basically gets a free KO when Jolteon and Magneton are out. So if I can go with the Butterfree route, Quiver Dance up on it once, and then maybe weaken a little bit with the Psychic, just to be in range of Shadow Ball from my Jolteon. That's perfect for me. This would be a tough game though, for sure. Because obviously my opponent's team is really well balanced. Nice and outclasses me too. I like it a lot, actually. So there's Clefable. Now, I'm assuming this is the Rocker. Fire Blast is going to hurt, but I'm faster than Clefable, so I can just Quiver Dance up. Yeah, I mean, if I Quiver Dance enough as well, I have the Mega Drain to do some damage too. Uh, and Psychic. So, weakening this is also very good for Pikachu as well. I think I'm Combine Pikachu too. Like, I'm also very worried about Snorlax. <laughs> but yeah, Quiver Dancing up twice is just my play. I get the Special Defense boost and that's going to allow me to uh, actually eat hits from this Clefable as well. And also do more damage to Pokemon like Snorlax too. So, and also being faster is a good thing as well. Alright, they go Snorlax. So, uh, good and bad. Um, I don't think plus two Bug Buzz will 2 KO them, but maybe Butterfree is going to be like, okay, bro, I'm going to get a special defense drop right now, and I'm going to help you do this. They could just self-destruct on me too, but I wouldn't mind Snorlax being gone. This is something I don't deal with very well. This is Needle King. I don't deal with very well. But this is plus two Bug Buzz. All right, Spadef Drop. I uh, know. Body Slam should not KO me, and even if they paralyze me, I'll be faster. Yep. So we're just going to go for a little bit more damage here with the Bug Buzz. Basically to be able to uh, put them in KO range of everything. Maybe I'll get a crit too. Hey, that's some good damage though. Hold up. That is some good damage. That Snorlax was a problem. I'm going to be real. That Snorlax was a problem. So I'm glad that it is weakened. Alright. I like Pikachu here a lot. Uh, because I can Zippy Zap and knock him out. I kind of doubt that my Splishy Splash knocks them out. If it does, maybe that's the play. But I kind of doubt it. I, I'm, but the reason I'm using Pikachu is because it says, okay, don't go out into something like... Um, maybe Splishy Splash does. It, it basically says go Needle King. Uh, don't go out into like Starmie or something. I went for Thunderbolt just because it's... I think it's a little bit stronger because of my Pikachu's nature as well. Uh, but I knocked out Snorlax. I don't think that crit mattered at all. And I like my Pikachu's get up because the Team Rocket thing kind of looks like, you know, a detective outfit almost. Almost. Maybe, maybe that's me wishful thinking. But ideally they go Needle King here and I'm able to weaken them. They go Electrode. Now Electrode is interesting because Electrode basically says, hey, you can get up rocks now for free with your... Uh, they, are they going to double out the Starmie? That'd be a fire play, but you can get up rocks, and rocks actually go a long way. In they didn't double, great, because I switched first. But rocks go a long way in terms of weakening Needle King, even if it's resisting to it. Just weakening everything. As they go for foul play, that's smart. That's the only thing that's going to be able to hit right on. That's very smart. 
Maybe they'll go foul play into Reflect. I do value Rocks though. I want to be able to chip away at his uh, switchings. And um, the ideal situation for me is they probably go Starmie here and I try and weaken them with Dragon Tail. I feel like they would go Starmie. I feel like Starmie's free. But I also kind of want to Earthquake just in case they get up a screen. I'm going to Earthquake just in case they get up a light screen. Like Starmie is... Starmie was free, right? But if they stayed in and got off a light screen and I forced them into Starmie, it'd be worse for me. Yeah, they do go Starmie. They're kind of expected there. Uh, Starmie should die to the combination of Earthquake with Shadow Ball from Jolteon. Yeah, I believe it'll be really close. And I can save this as a switch in. Magneton still deals with both as well. Yeah, Jolteon will have a hit. Magneton deals with the, um... Magneton does some decent damage to, uh, what's it called? Alexam, while dealing with it while also getting up a light screen. So there's a Skull. Eat that up, thank you. No burn either, beautiful. I can throw off a Shadow Ball here. I believe Shadow Ball will be able to knock out the Starmie, but more importantly, it hits Nidoking uh, for a little bit of damage. I need, especially with a Reflect Up, I need damage on Nidoking. And it's going to force me to sack a Pokemon, so... I have to remember they also have a Clefable still. Like, they have some threats, man. I want to waste turns of their, uh... Of their Reflect. So I'll go for Protect here. Relatively safe. If they double, this is great for me too. They, I, they don't really have to double. Especially because I don't really have a Switch in. At all. Starmie's also in range of Zippy Zap now. Nice. So I sack Rhydon and they don't have an Earthquake switching from uh, Alolan Dugtrio. Uh, Earthquake will take out Starmie after Rocks. Uh, it should to a KO Clef. Keeping Jolteon around is great because it gets a free KO versus uh, the, the Starmie. And we also put Needle King, I believe, after Stealth Rock in range of my... Um, Swishy Splash. That's not gonna do that much. I don't know why they Ice Punch there over Earthquake, but that's fine. Earthquake always hit my entire team. I had no switchings. <laughs> like, Ice Punch actually gave me, like, if I wanted to be wild and go Pikachu, it gave me a switching. But it doesn't matter. Reflect is gone. Rocks are up. Starmie is at 50%, so it will die to Earthquake. And Dugcho just comes in and says, hey, I'm picking up a KO now. Can't do anything about it. Of course, Clefable is still a problem. Because it does more than likely have Fire Blast. Uh, I could see them going Clefable right now. I don't mind them. Uh... Okay, they have to stay. The uh, just keep this in. So that's great. Because now Thunderbolt is essentially free. Obviously, they can go Clef now and be a problem. But Dugtrill's uh, Earthquake is also really nice still. And Jolteon's Thunderbolt is free. Now, if they do go for Fable, I believe I should go Magneton, which will maybe... Do I go Magneton or do I go Jolt? They go Clef, yeah. Now, I'm thinking, like, what's the better play? Like, if I go Jolteon, I'm basically saying, okay... I definitely keep Ductrio alive, right? Because it gets free hits versus Electrode. But I think I, I do go Jolteon, which may be able to live a Fire Blast. And an Ice Beam, I'm not sure. And then I get off a Thunderbolt on their Clefable. Because I believe Pikachu Zippy Zap is still going to be very useful for knocking out Starmie. It doesn't care about Reflect. They do go for Fire Blast there. And, and Magneton also gets a... Uh, nice. No, uh, every single time it like lags a little bit, I think that a turn's going to go by. But Magneton also gets a KO now as well. With Clefable being weakened. So I'm okay with this. I can safely bring out Magneton. I can click Flash Cannon. I can knock out Clefable. I can then get up a light screen and deal with the uh, the rest of his team. And also toxic that. I can also toxic the um, the electrode slash um, Alakazam. Alakazam a little bit more worried about. But nice magazine. Flash cannon now knocks you out. This is why Butterfree early on and also them giving me Needle King was so useful for me because Pikachu Zippy Zap. No longer resisted by my opponent's team. Besides Electro, but I don't count Electro, like I said. Because Electro, I'm just going to Toxic. Put that ball on a timer. And then I'll start setting up a light screen. If they go Alakazam on light screen first. 
and then I believe I'll Toxic. Just in case they calm mind up. And if they go Electrode, I'm a Toxic first, and then, you know, vice versa. If they go Starmie, I'll just Thunderbolt just to knock them out. But hopefully Pikachu ends me this game. Kinda wish I Earthquake on Electro first. But yeah, they go Starmie first. I'm gonna live every hit they go for, so I'll just Thunderbolt. Their, their best move is Scald. They can't paralyze me, because I'm a Magneton. And with the light screen up, I believe Ductrio also just 2 KOs everything on their team. Did some good damage, I'll be honest. No, like, no status like this game. No Skull Burns, no Fire Blast Burn. I'm like, every single time they go for it, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I flinch a little bit because I get worried. I definitely flinch a little bit because I get worried. That's for sure. All right, there's the Electro. Uh, maybe a Reflect going up first. I'm gonna talk to this just so it's not a problem. Yeah, I'm a Toxic just so my Pikachu can beat a 1v1 later. I feel like you do reflect first, though. Cause that does nothing. Hey, I got my Toxic off. Beautiful. So, I get my Toxic. I also should be able to live the next foul play. And that will give me a Light Screen. And that will give me my, uh, my Duck Trail to come in next and click Earthquake. I should live this. Yep, get off my light screen, which is great for Dugtrill. Gonna support the boy. Multiple turns of Toxic as well, awesome. Now I can just Thunderbolt. Hey, so even if they get up a Reflect with their Alakazam, I think that, I think I'll be okay. Like, even if they get a Reflect here, and then go into Alexander, because Electro will still die to Earthquake. Uh, with the light screen up, I should always eat every hit that Alakazam could go for. And then I believe Sucker Punch and the Zippy Zap will be able to knock it out too. Now, if they get up a Reflect first, and then they go, like, if they don't, if they don't get damage off on me here, I actually go for Toxic versus Alakazam as well, just to limit its uh, Calm Minds. Like they, if they, the only reason they stay in here is they either foul play or, or reflect. Um, reflect doesn't matter because they'll die to poison anyway. But reflect does matter in the sense that it lets Alakazam think it's safe. But because Zippy Zap doesn't care about that um, that boost because he gets a crit, I should be good. So big detective Pikachu in the back, aka Marlene, should have it. And if they switch out Electro, they lose anyway. All right, they do get to reflect. Nice. Reflect versus my light screen. But they'll die to this plus poison. Or they just died to this raw. Didn't even need the poison. Alright, so Alakazam comes in. I basically go for a Toxic first. Uh, just to get a little bit more damage racking up. Because they shouldn't be able to kill me through my light screen anyway. So Toxic first, ideally they're not sub. Please don't be sub. Like if they're a barrier set too, that wouldn't matter either because of Zippy's that. I feel like they're not barrier though. They they would have gone out to they would have never reflected, they would have foul play. They do go for Shadow Ball first, nice. That is nothing because of light screen. Beautiful. Get my little toxic off. That was just in case they started commenting up, like I said. And I have one more turn of light screen. Um, Earthquake is fine. I don't want to sucker punch and have them calm mine and me not get any damage off on them. Of course, I did risk the crit there, but that's fine too. Shout out to that clutch light screen, man. Coming through. And now I just go for Earthquake again. Uh, there's no point in me sucker punching because if they recover, they get more out of it. Obviously, they'll die eventually, but... I just want to Earthquake again because it puts them in range of uh, Pikachu Zippy Zap. I don't even want to Sucker Punch. 
think it's just gonna end it. And it was just like the one that doesn't uh, allow them recovery or something. What if they're like a, a crazy rest set, man? I've seen some crazy Alakazam sets out here. Pikachu comes in and clicks that zippy zap and that's a wrap. That's a wrap. No, no pun intended, no bars, no nothing. Let's go, Detective Pikachu. I can't wait to see this movie. This is a good game. I love how Butterfree actually did so much for me. Like, basically, breaking through Snorlax was so important. And even Shadow Balling on Needle King and then them giving me Needle King after. All that was so important because my electric moves were just so good here. Alright, so, as I said, the next few are going to be a little bit, um... Short, just because of what I said. I basically, tried to beat you then mutters, uh, mutters, <laughs> Mother's Day weekend. But I hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. There is a playlist down below. If you'd like to see all my other Wi-Fi battles, I have over 150 of them. Um, just let's go upload it to the channel. Uh, there'll be a ton more with uh, Sun, Sun and Moon, <laughs> with Sword and Shield coming out as well. But I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.